I'll need to record today's notes in the databank. in you, I'll answer any questions you have. Me? Hmm. Well, talking about oneself is as pointless as it gets. On paper, yes. But I don't really care about this place. I built it, put some stuff in, left some people here, and let them just manage themselves. Asta's the lead researcher of the space station. So for all intents and purposes, she's the master. I reject the concept of ownership because I don't want the responsibilities that come with it. It doesn't matter. Who cares if others don't like me? I know I don't care. As long as I have my own value, I can do whatever I want. While you may have good character, do you have any value? Uh, don't take that the wrong way. I'm genuinely asking you. You might have some value, 
I, I just don't know about it. Human, female, young, beautiful, attractive. Not much different from what you're seeing now. I modeled it after how I looked back when I was a kid. It might not be identical, but I'd say maybe 70, 80% there. Oh, I was so precocious. All I cared about back then was solving the solitary wave problem. <sighs> Ignoring my precious childhood. Stellarums, huh? Ask away. I'm listening. According to my research, it's a type of life form with a special property that tethers it to a certain path or eon's power. Wherever it's located, it responds to that world's desires to advance its civilization. But this comes at the cost of some form of disaster. The mechanism behind it is likely related to Nanook the destruction. Oh, that weird bunch. I'm satisfied with just one Stellaron. But they've scoured the universe, obtained several, and still aren't satisfied. I don't know what their true intentions are. Screwlum went up against the Stellaron hunters before. I heard there was a member whose hacking skills were on par with Screwlum. Huh, oh, being on the same level as Screwlum, who's probably the best in the universe, is nothing short of spectacular. It's beyond my abilities. Computers are not my forte. Huh, that I don't know. Which is why I'm gearing up to solve this mystery. The Express? Shouldn't you be asking Himiko instead? You mean how it looks? Like a train? Well, I was very interested in the Express for a while and wrote a lot of papers, but forgot where I left them. Now I can't remember anything about it. Uh-huh. Oh, we've been business partners for a long time. Every once in a while, I'll need them to get me things from other planets. And they often come to me to help them solve problems. Uh, what decision? You're gonna have to be more specific. Of course! I'll still be here waiting for you. <laughs> and the space station will be waiting for you. Returning? It's not impossible. If you want to be a researcher here, you can just ask Asta. If she's fine with it, I have no complaints. No, nope, hold on. You have a Stellaron within you. I think it's better if you left and came back occasionally. It might be dangerous if you stayed for too long. No! You're way too dangerous. I don't mind personally, but I don't want Asta and others to take the risk. You wouldn't want the Stellaron in you to hurt all the people in the space station either, right? Just come back once in a while. You will always be welcome at the space station. Just don't stay for too long. <laughs> you really are weird. What's so good about this place? Even I don't like staying here. Ugh, fine. To be honest with you, I have plenty of ways to seal a mere Stellaron. <laughs> you just might end up not having a lot of personal freedom. If you're so keen to stay, fine, I'm okay with it. Go speak to Asta. She's the lead researcher. She's in charge. Well, from an objective standpoint, that is the most rational place for you to be. First of all, you have somewhere to live and you'd be under their protection. Also, it'll be a long trip, so you'll have more opportunities to find a way to save yourself from the Stellaron. Lastly, if the Stellaron really explodes, you won't harm too many people around you. As I've said, talk to Asta. She's the lead researcher. She's in charge. Go, go, go. Oh, how should I know? It's up to you. You have so many options to choose from. Maybe jump out a hatch or hop into the Fragmentum and see if any monsters start worshipping you. Okay, 
Suit yourself.
Goodness, you're all safe. It's a pity that we haven't had the chance to talk much and now the Express is about to leave. Do you have any questions? Well, Madame Herta gave me a piece of code, which she apparently wrote on the way here. I just tried it out and the defense shield's regenerating three times faster than before. Thanks to her, the antimatter legion outside is not much of a threat anymore. The space station's repairs and reconstruction can also begin smoothly. But internally, when the Stellaron was extracted, even for that brief moment, it corroded the space station and formed a new space, what we now call the Fragmentum. The part that was corroded is irreversible, so the space station will always be in a state of quasi-fragmentum. Huh. I'd like to know the answer to that as well. All existing fragmentums are connected, so monsters will be able to enter the space station through the fragmentum here, but it shouldn't allow anything to exit your body, so... I talked with Arlan and there's no easy solution to this problem at the moment. We can only increase the security and patrol frequency to protect the ongoing research. After all this is over, I'm putting my vacation time in with Madame Herta. I've got it all planned. I'll hop on an airship and give the blue a good look. Well, I guess so. I haven't taken leave once since I joined the space station. Oh, and if I have an actual full vacation, I can take my time to collect observational data and finish writing my paper. Of course, there's already a lot of published research on the blue, but I want to study it myself. It might sound a lot like work, but uh, it's really just a hobby. Uh, there are no deadlines or quotas to meet, and uh, I don't get paid. Huh? Madame Herta said that? In that case, I have nothing against it either. Mind you, if Madame Herta was to do something to you, she's not going to care a lot about what you think. Well, Madame Herta gave thanks to her, the anti when the Stellaron, the part that was... All existing fragmentums are connected. So there will be monsters that will enter the space station through its fragmentum. I talked with Arlan and there's no easy solution. After all this is... Be that as it may, taking it in while on vacation and observing it during work are not the same thing. Oh, and if I have an actual full vacation, I... Of course, there's already a... Well, if you wanted to come back and help, of course I wouldn't refuse you. Dan Hung helped inventory our rare items. March 7th said that she would help out as much as she can and connected over 50 wires in the electrical room. Everyone from the Express is so obliging. And I think you're pretty good at meddling, too. Oh, sure. 
No hurry. <laughs> I have ten life insurance policies on the go.
worth our while.
time for the main event. <laughs> Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's go. to repent. This song's just for you. Turn up the volume. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! Clemency? Never heard a time for now. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Jump! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! I told you I could fight. Just a scratch. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Let's make it quick. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. You couldn't have done it without me.